Media images like these are raising concern about the influence they have on early sexual interests in minors. Sex sells, so whether it's kids or it's adults, that's just what a lot of TV shows and producers, that's what they're targeting. That's like even SpongeBob. Research shows that exposure to sexual content enhances sexual desires in adolescents, while exposure to violent content enhances violent behaviors. And you're talking about raiding their dressers for their underpants, right? Oh, yeah. Negative facts is that more teenagers are engaging in risky behavior, specifically in this case, sex. Really, things. We hit the jackpot. If the media shows that partaking in illicit drugs, for example, is okay, given whatever image they're viewing on the screen, then a teenager who is high on sensation seeking is more likely going to view that risky behavior, participating in illicit drugs or consuming illicit drugs, they're going to view it as okay. There is a strong correlation between the aggression associated with males and the violent video games geared towards them. This young man right here I work with as a dedicated aide at the Montessori School. And you can see it in his behavior, uh, uh, propensity uh, to, to violence, I mean, hitting, uh, the language that they use at such a young age, absolutely a negative effect. I think that they need to do something about that. While research shows that sex, violence, and substance use in popular culture has negative influences on children and adolescents, some believe that these adverse effects can be combated within the household. It's not like it's all bad. There's plenty of good. Work with the kids, be with them when they're looking on the internet, when they're playing whatever game. Set, but just very set, very strict limits, but also have a really open line of communication. For News Vision News, I'm Nay McMillan.